everyone, and welcome back to Casual Climbers, the podcast by and for beginning hikers and those who may not quite be physically ready to tackle the Appalachian Trail. I'm your host, Donna Padrick, and alongside me is my husband and adventure buddy, Roy. Hey, Donna. Hi, Roy. So in this podcast, we provide you with information, tips, and tricks on how to get into hiking here in the Blue Ridge area. We will cover some of the hundreds of trails in various parks and forests in the region, and hopefully entertain you a little bit along the way. Hopefully. We're two middle-aged, not in the best shape hikers. Definitely not in the best shape hikers. Who absolutely love the outdoors, and we want to share our experiences with you. In today's Trail Snacks episode, we discuss the Buckeye Trail in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, leading to a pretty amazing waterfall. But before we get into the trail, Donna, We'd like to congratulate Skylar and Laura. Yes. A young couple who got engaged while we were there at the waterfall. Yep. It was a it was a very, very sweet moment when it was. Skylar, who came down the trail dressed in a nice button down pants shirt and a button down yeah. shirt. And it was hot. It was <laughs> and she had appropriate hiking gear on, so she was clearly unaware. Yeah. And it was it was funny to me seeing this guy come down. You notice things like that. I was I was under the waterfall and I was saying, Hey, take a picture of me under the waterfall. Woo. And you were watching, you know, you I were was taking like, what is this guy doing? Yeah. But you know, it was really sweet because he got down on one knee, yeah. pretty much right under the waterfall. And as soon as I saw that, I started taking pictures. Yeah. Because nobody else, you know, yeah. was there to take pictures for him. He got down on one knee. Thankfully, she said yes. <laughs> So congratulations, Skylar, yes. on, on her saying yes. It was so sweet. The body language. I mean, we were far enough away that all we saw was the body language. Yeah. But I think we would have seen, you know, if it was a no. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, if, if it was, it was a, no. a no, it would have been a really awkward yeah. three quarters of a mile back to the parking area. I'm so glad it was a yes. They yes. look like a very sweet couple. Congratulations, Skylar and Laura. We, Donna and I both hope you have a lifetime of happiness together. Mm-hmm. Also, Donna, we have a brand new website. Yeah. Be sure to check it out. It's casualclimbers.com. Yep. Just that simple. Yep. There you can access our trail photos and videos posted to our Instagram and YouTube accounts, as well as links to all the podcast app feeds and our social media. Mm -hmm. Soon, Donna, I'm working on a merch store. Okay. So I'm hoping in the next couple months to have a merch store up and running so people can get their casual climbers gear. Right. Yeah, so that's where you go if you want to see embarrassing videos of me trying to talk about a waterfall or something because I don't do well in front of the camera at all. You you do way better than you think. I stumble. You, you do better than you think. <laughs> you don't like being put on the spot. I really don't. Which is kind of fun for me because oh, I like to put you on the spot. Such a, it's such a not nice thing to do. <laughs> So what do you what do you say, Donna? Are you ready to get into the trail snacks about uh, Buckeye Trail and Spruce Flats? I am. So here's Buckeye Trail by the numbers. The distance is 1.81 miles there and back from the parking area. The time it took us was an hour and 31 minutes, but of that, only an hour was moving time. So it's a relatively short hike. I, hey, one second. I'm curious. What did the online trail, you know, like what are those trail apps that tell you? Oh, all this trails. is mod Yeah, all trails. What did they say would be the amount of time that a normal person, not an unfit hiker? 40 minutes is what they said. Okay, so we took an hour. So that I'm actually proud of that because I think they said this was moderate. They did. Yeah. That's they said they said easy to moderate. Is that is a said. lie. Yeah, it's a lie. It's, it's a lie. It's a much tougher hike than than it says. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let you can I'm gonna let you finish. You, thank you. <laughs> But Taylor Swift did win the award. The, the <laughs> lowest point is 1,275 feet. The highest point is 1,600 feet. So on, the, on its face, it's only 325 feet elevation change. But that's over a very short distance. It's not like it's a three-mile hike where you gradually go up 325 feet. You're going up 325 feet over the course of half a mile. Over rocks, over roots, over yes. trail that is eroding on one side <laughs> so the friendliness of this it is not it's not friendly it's not friendly at all i didn't feel like it was very friendly very rocky very rooty you wet need... in places and if you want to get down to the uh, waterfall you have to scramble over rocks yeah. so... i mean well there is that that landing that i got to easily pretty easily 
that where it's like pebbles and you can just walk right up to the very, very, very bottom. Well, I, would you say that's the very bottom of the waterfall where I was? It's the bottom. So this waterfall, it's called Spruce Flats Falls. And it's 35 feet tall, mm -hmm. but it also has another cascade that's about 10 feet tall. And, and that's you the were one. below the second cascade. Yes. Yeah. And that was that was easy to get to. To because after hiking there, if it wasn't easy to get to, I was not getting to it. Yeah, yeah it it wasn't too bad getting there. If you wanted to get closer to the higher falls, which is what you did to go tell those go, people that yeah to you, go congratulate Skylar and Laura. Yes, and, and get their number so I could send them the pictures. Yeah, that was a scramble. That you, was you, you I, I didn't even try that. Rocks. Yeah, I I just I was like oh, I'll I'll be right here. I'll wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> so to get there, guys. You're going to search for Tremont, T-R-E-M-O-N-T, -E Environmental Education Center in your map app. It's located in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. There are bathrooms at the Education Center at the trailhead, but that's it. There aren't any, of course, by the falls. And there's plenty of parking. There were yeah. probably 50 spaces there, if not more. We probably should have checked out the education center and the bathrooms, but we It was didn't. closed when oh. we got there because we got there pretty early on. I knew Saturday. that. I was just testing you. Okay. You're doing good. I'm good. Yay. I like passing tests. <laughs> so, like I said, the trail is pretty steep. You start the climb almost immediately once you get past the this little camp area. Mm-hmm. And it just continues up and it's very rocky and rooty. Mm. Yeah, it's it's deceiving the sh the short distance. If you just look at the distance, because we kind of we were like, oh, it's a beautiful waterfall. And it's only how, how far is it? Three quarters, three quarters of, of a mile in. I, yeah. I still can't believe that three quarters of a mile in felt much longer. Three quarters of a mile in up over rocks and roots is very different than just three quarters. They, there should be a disclaimer or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it It is Rocky and Rudy. And so, listeners, I, I want you guys to be careful. If you don't have sure-footedness, this trail is going to really challenge you. I actually took a tumble on the way back. Yeah, that was scary. My foot caught a root, one of the thousands of roots that you're going to step over. Mm -hmm. And it, we were going down. And the side, the left side of the trail was a pretty steep decline going down the mountain. Yes. And and I slid a, a little ways. I'm fine for the most part. I have a pretty bad scrape on my shin. But other than that, I... And you, you, know, you kind of hurt your knee, hurt knee a, bit, a little bit, hurt yeah. your shoulder a little bit. We are unfit hikers. This was a really good reminder. I almost, as you were falling and I wanted to do something to help the situation, I almost fell off the mountain myself. So then I, I thought, okay, I need to calm myself down because if I fall off the mountain, that's not going to help anything. And I'm so glad that that tree stopped you mm -hmm. <laughs> from falling. If our moms are listening to this, they're probably going to maybe worry a little bit more. So I'm going to stop talking about it. I, yeah. <laughs> my, my mother, if you're listening out there, she is sweating us to get bear spray. Mm -hmm. Which we should. She's right. Eh. She's right. Shadow. Something. So we didn't see any bears on this trail, but we did on the trail we're going to talk about next week. We yeah. did see a bear. There's a, obviously the Great Smoky Mountains National Park has a ton of wildlife, yeah. including bears. Which is great. It is. It's it's amazing. Yeah. Just I don't keep know your if, distance. Don't feed them. Exactly. They don't know where the food stops and your hand begins. I don't know. It's all food to them. I would actually spray a bear unless it was... Unless I was in mortal danger. So we went to a coffee shop yesterday morning that was adorable in Towns Townsend. Townsend. It was called the yep. Townsend Coffee Company. And they actually, I didn't tell you this, they had these bear bells. And you can attach this bell to your backpack. And as you're walking along, it'll make a jingling sound. It's also good for people that are mountain biking or whatever. But it lets the animals know that you're coming It so that... You know, they can hear that bell from a distance, I guess. And then they'll, they don't want so to you don't run. Get, so they're not startled by you. Exactly. Which is when the majority of attacks happen. Yeah. yeah. They, but we're talking, sometimes listening to an audio book. Yeah. I think, I think making some sound, making some noise might be a good thing when you're hiking. I don't know. 
What I, do you think? I think so. I try not to make a lot of noise because I love listening to yeah. the nature around me. I'm conflicted you know? about it. I don't yeah. know how much I want to make noise on purpose. And this particular trail is really popular. We saw a whole bunch of people on it, even yeah. as early as we went at yeah. like eight. What was it like eight thirty in the morning? Yeah, which was pretty early. And, and we're in the summer. There. This is the last day of June right now, and. Both of the trails that we're talking about, this one and the podcast for next week, every once in a while, stuff will be falling out of trees. I don't know what it is, like acorns or nuts acorns or something, or, something that's yeah. falling out of the trees. And I, I swear there's like a baby bear, an adolescent bear, probably a male up in a tree, just like trying to ping hikers as they're walking by or something. I hope so. <laughs> that's that hilarious. hilarious. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> So the the falls itself is really nice. Now, don't let the 35 feet fool you. It's a pretty breathtaking oh, falls. Oh, it is. It's really spectacular. You got in the water uh-huh. and got your head under, under the, the lower one. cascade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That that was nice. I did not get in the water this time, which is unusual for me. Mm-hmm. But I, I just, I, I wasn't feeling it. I could reason. walk up to the waterfall and the water only covered my ankle. Very and I was shallow. yes, yeah. and I was walking on rocks. They weren't pebbles, and they weren't boulders. They were something in between, like Stones. maybe yeah, hand yeah. size or yeah, probably about the size of my the palm of my hand. Yeah. Most of the rocks, and for the most part, they weren't slick. I did have my hiking pole to study me because that is the one thing that I worry about anytime you are hiking and there are rocks and there's water running over them is that they're going to be slick with moss or something. And you can't always tell slip slick with what is the stuff that algae mm-hmm, yeah, or something. So, and that I don't want to, I don't want to take a tumble because the older you get, the more the ground hits back when you, when you hit the, <laughs> the ground, it takes to recover. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, the, the waterfall is great. I mean, as I said at the top here, it took us an hour and 31 minutes, but an hour, only an hour was moving time. We spent 30 minutes there at the waterfall and you could have easily spent more. Oh, yeah. Just enjoying the waterfall. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty great. One thing, too, along the way is the, the trail bends makes kind of a hard left U turn. It's a switchback. Yeah. And going up or going down, I guess, if you're coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Going up, it, it makes that U turn left. And you got a vista. Of the mountains on the other side. That was a really beautiful reward. Yeah. After after that much going up. It was about halfway through the trail going up to the waterfall. Yeah. yeah when was, when you see the gorgeous. sun breaking through and just sunbeams yeah. coming through. Oh, it's so beautiful. So the, mountain, the mountains in the morning is magical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It really is magical. And, and this trail did not disappoint. It was challenging. I took a tumble. Yeah. You know, but and but the waterfall, the is vistas. spectacular. The yeah. vista was great. Yeah, plenty of parking. Yeah, when you come into the parking area, there's this wooden bridge that you go over that's can only fit one vehicle. So when we were leaving, we were we had to wait for a vehicle to get through, and then we took our turn to go through. But other vehicles were waiting to use that yeah. wooden bridge to come into the parking area. So that's. An indicator that you're in the right place. If yeah, <laughs> yeah. just keep, and 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 two listeners, just just driving through the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. If you've never done it, you know we talk a lot about the Blue Ridge Parkway and how spectacular it is, and it is. Great Smoky Mountains might rival it. I think it does. Now you're not going to get the vistas that you get on the Blue Ridge Parkway, right? But man, like almost every single road has a river or a stream running along it and then you're yeah. you're blanketed with deep lush green forest it mm. it's it's a spectacular park i understand why the walker sisters were like nope we're, we're not, not leaving yeah. i get it yeah i totally <laughs> get it i totally get why they wouldn't want to leave yeah so so the trail itself Donna, how would you rate it would it piece of cake break a sweat oh it was definitely ringer? break a sweat Hundred percent, easily a break a sweat, easily because we broke a sweat at eight thirty in the morning. At eight thirty in the morning, yeah, yeah, we were. I my shirt was drenched mm-hmm. when, I, when I got back. Not from the waterfall. No, I didn't get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you recommend this to others? I would, if you're up for it. I would recommend hundred percent. Bring a pole, at least one. 
I it, it's it's so tough for me. Like there were points on this hike where I thought I should have brought both of my hiking sticks. But when you get down to the waterfall, you want to just have the one because you want to be having that other hand free to grab a rock or grab a tree or yeah. You know, study yourself in other ways with other things. So I would definitely recommend it too, but I if if you are at all unsure about your footing or balance, yeah. Don't take this trail. Yeah. Because sure footedness and balance are a hundred percent required. Now we didn't see any dogs on this trail. Dogs are allowed, aren't they? No. They're not? No. There's only two trails huh. in the entire Great Smoky Mountains National Park where dogs are allowed. Really? Mm-hmm. And fascinating. This is not one, of them. one of them is at the Akuna Lefty Visitor Center, which is right inside the yeah. Great Smoky Mountains National Park from from Cherokee. And then the other is near Gatlinburg. I, I find that fascinating. I love running into dogs. Dogs are so happy on trails. They're so happy to yeah. be hiking. And they're, they're sure-footed. Oh, just way more than we are. Right, yeah. right out of the womb. They're just sure-footed, it yeah. seems. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but no dogs. Huh, and that's... I cannot imagine a bicycle on that. Day. Oh, there's no way a bicycle's getting through that. I, don't, I mean, somebody out there with a mountain bike is like, oh, yeah, watch me. OK, <laughs> good luck to you, pal, because, you know, it's a dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's if you're in the if you're in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and you want to get out and huff and puff for an hour. Yeah. It's a great trail to see see a gorgeous waterfall. Yeah, just pace yourself. I don't always pace myself. Oh, there were no benches. On well, this. there was one that I kind of thought could qualify as a bench. It was a rock, I think that they had. What was it? I didn't take a picture of it. it yeah, th- no, that wasn't on this. Oh, that wasn't on this trail. Yeah, yeah, okay, the, there's yeah. so many trails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did. We did one. And then another one the day after. So yeah, yeah, it's easy to get mixed up. No, there are no benches. There are obviously there are rocks down by the waterfall that you can get that that you can and we did sit on. Okay. So just keep that in mind. No benches, but you can always just relax. You know, just take a breathe a breather. Lean against a tree. Against a tree, or find a a rock that you can sit on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I I would recommend this and. And I don't think you'll be disappointed. The, the waterfall at the end is great. There's a lot of places where you can go around to, like if you're going up, you can go either around to the right or around to the left on the trail. And I think they mean for you to go around to the left, which is the the side that where the mountain is going up. Around to the left is where, around to the right is where the mountain is going straight down. That's the easier way, but that way is just dirt and it's eroding and, and it's I, very narrow yes yeah. and i think that they're trying to encourage people to, to climb up over the rocks that are closer to where the mountain goes up but that makes it so much harder it makes it harder but you know if you like you said it is eroding it's eroding on the other side you're, so. you're taking a risk that you're going to slide off the mountain yeah, yeah easily easily oh. yeah i I, I I loved this hike, even though I fell. I still enjoyed this hike. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I was it, worried about you. Yeah, it, I just, it, just a little bit of temporary pain. My knee's still sore today, but other than that, I'm fine. Yeah. Um, so be careful out there, but I, I do recommend it. I, I recommend this this trail for anybody in the Tremont area of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Yep. So that's the trail this week, guys. Buckeye Trail leading to Spruce Flats Falls. In the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Say that three times fast. I, I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's it's a great shorter hike, but definitely challenging just because the elevation change, the rocks, the roots over a short distance makes it a tough hike. The you risk will, of falling off a mountain. The risk of falling off a mountain. You'll definitely be sweating if you if you take this hike and are not in the best shape, as we say every episode. Yep. So I, I recommend it. If you're in Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Definitely do this hike. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you're up for it. And dodge the acorns that the adolescent male bears are throwing at you from the (laughs) treetops, in my imagination. So thank you so much for listening. Please subscribe to us on whatever podcast app you use and be sure to leave us a review. That's how our show grows. Feel free to check out our trail photos at the brand new website, casualclimbers.com. 
If you have a question, comment, or just want to drop us a line, you can reach us at casualclimberspodcast at gmail.com. So once again, congratulations to Skylar and Laura on your your engagement. Yeah. It was so sweet to see you propose and even sweeter to see her accept. Yes. Oh my gosh, how cool would it be if we like got invited to the wedding and <laughs> Oh god. What do they want two old people going to their wedding That's for? That I mean, old people know. at weddings is a thing though. That's what Yeah. Yes, you have yes. to have old people at a wedding. Skylar and Laura, if you're listening, you don't have to invite us to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> but we hope that it's a a wonderful occasion. We hope you guys have decades of happiness together. Yes. And and we hope to see you out on the trails there sometime. A hundred percent. 